Hello student, today we are going to learn important parts of a engine lathe and their function. This is simple figure of engine lathe. We draw this figure only for exam purpose. Here, this is the head stock, this is the life center, this is the tail stock, this is the dead center, here this is the change wheel or change gear, this is the leg of the lathe, this is the bed, under bed, this is the rake, this is the lead screw come feed rod and total this portion is called carriage, this is saddle, this is cross slide, this is the compound slide, this is the tool post. Now we discuss in details. This is details figure of engine lathe. Here this portion is called headstock. In headstock main component are cone pulley or gear, back gear, lathe spindle, feet reverse gear, here this is the life center, here this is the tail stock and this center is called dead center, this is the leg of the lathe, this is the feed rod or lead screw, here feed rod and lead screw are same one rod, common rod. This portion, this portion, total of this portion is called carriage, this is the saddle, on the saddle this is called cross slide, on the cross slide this is called compound rest and this is called tool post. This is for lever for tool post slide. Now we learn details of carriage. This is the only carriage portion of engine lathe. This is the lathe bed. This is V group. Total this portion is called carriage. This, this is the saddle on the bed, on, on the saddle this is called cross slide, it is move in y direction, on the cross slide this is called swivel plate, on this this is compound rest, compound rest can be moved in x direction, longitudinal direction, this is called tool post, this is the compound rest fit screw, this graduated plate is called swivel plate, this is the 
cosfit screw the hanging portion of the carriage is called apron okay now the important parts of a lathe and their function are number 1 bed it is a cast iron structure which support all movable and fixed mounting on the lathe it it has horizontal guide way on the top parallel to the length of the bed the movable mountings movable mountings means tail stock carriage etc movable mountings are slight along this guide way number 2 head stock the head stock consists of the following parts number 1 cone pulley number 2 back gear number 3 lathe spindle number 4 feet reverse gear cone pulley used to obtain speed variation of the lathe spindle back gear used to obtain speed variation of the lathe spindle also lathe spindle it is used to hold and support the job and to drive it feet reverse gear used to provide power feet to the lathe carriage and to reverse the movement of the lathe carriage okay number 3 tail stock it is mounted on the lathe bed and can be slided along the lathe bed over the guide way the function of tail stock are a to hold and support the other end of the job during machining operation on it b to hold cutting tool for performing operation like drilling reaming tapping etc number c to turn taper on a job the method name setting over the tail stock method number 4 main component lathe carriage lathe parts lathe carriage the lathe carriage support guide and feeds the cutting tool against the job during machining operation on it the lathe carriage consists of the following parts a saddle b compound rest c tool post saddle used to support the cross slide compound rest and tool post on the saddle we support the cross slide compound rest and tool post b compound rest function of compound rest used to turn taper on on a short job to support the tool post also to support the tool post number c tool post function of tool post used to hold and support the cutting tool okay number 5 apron it is the hanging portion of the lathe carriage the front portion 
of the lathe carriage. The function of Fon R A to produce automatic longitudinal fit fit on x axis of the lathe carriage. B to produce automatic cross fit of the cutting tool. Cross fit means along y axis. C to produce longitudinal hand fit of the lathe carriage. Okay.